Hello everyone! I'm here today with our Flex32 Planted Aquarium, which, um, which is looking pretty good, I think. Uh, we've made it through the initial, like, algae stage. Uh, it didn't look great, uh, but now it's all cleared up. It's looking nice, it's looking healthy. Um, the fish look great too. Um, they, 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 they're very interactive, which I like. They're gonna, they kind of, they're gonna spend the whole video like right here being like, dad, where's our food? Uh, <laughs> but speaking of which, they're eating really great. Um, and their colors are starting to come in, which is nice. These are purple emperor tetras. Um, so as they, as they mature, uh, their colors should really become, uh, quite impressive, I think. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, the tank itself needs some more plants. Um, if you have any recommendations, let me know in the comment section. But I think what I'm going to do uh, on this piece of driftwood, I'm going to go for uh, Hygrophila pinnatifida. Pinnatifida. It's, it's a fun one. Um, I love that plant. It's, it's, it's awesome and it's so versatile and it's so cool looking. Um, I'll probably do some S. repens like in the, in the gaps in the foreground here as well. I think that'll... Um, blend nicely with the crypts that are in here. Um, yeah, maybe some buse, maybe some anubius uh, as well in a couple of spots. Now in this tank, there's stratum in the back where the plants are, uh, and there's decorative sand in the front, as you can see. Now you'll see this a lot in aquascaping. Uh, it kind of combines the best of both worlds because the plants get the soil and like all of the nutrients and all of the good stuff that's in there, but then aesthetically the sand in the front looks a lot better. However, as you can see, there's one major drawback to this kind of setup, and it's that when the stratum or whatever other soil substrate you're using uh, kind of spills into the sand area, it sticks out like a sore thumb. It doesn't look very good at all. Now, there's ways of mitigating this a little bit. Um, if the tank was more densely planted, the plant roots would kind of uh, like hold on to the, to, to the soil more. Um, and like I've put filter floss in, in the gaps between the rocks to try to like hold back the soil as much as possible, but inevitably this kind of situation will always happen. So what can you do to fix this? Obviously, if you're doing a water change, uh, you can take a piece of tubing and like suck all the granules out of the tank and then either uh, add them back in or just throw them out. Uh, you can also take uh, a pair of tongs or tweezers and like individually move the soil granules back into their place, but I'm not enough of a masochist to do that to myself, uh, but the good news is I don't have to be because there is a way simpler solution, a magnet. <laughs> Soil substrates like fluval stratum and biostratum will cling to rare earth magnets uh, like this one. I got it from Amazon uh, and you can get them with these little hooks on the top and then you can use a uh, fishing line or thread or uh, an LED suspension kit wire <laughs> uh, to lower the magnet into your tank, just like your magnet fishing, basically, um, and really easily remove all of the soil granules that are out of place without having to do a water change and without even getting your hands wet. So I think it's a really great tip and it's definitely made my life easier over the years. Uh, so I wanted to share it with you guys and show you how well it works. So let me show you how well it works.
And that is it for today. I hope the magnet trick helps keep your planted aquariums and your aquascapes looking clean and fresh all the time. If you have any questions, concerns, or conundrums, please leave them in the comment section. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. If you enjoyed the video, hit like, and if you haven't already, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Thank you.